Ops 101 program is designed to give uh, primarily uh, politicians uh, and decision makers of various sorts uh, the hands-on experience at what we go through uh, as firefighters. It's an opportunity for us to talk to some of our uh, community partners, our uh, political friends, uh, business leaders. Uh, we talk to them often about what we do, but this is an opportunity for us to show them what we do. We open people's eyes to aspects of our job that they just never would have considered had they not gotten into our position and put our gear on and gone into the and done the things that we do um, every day that we're prepared to do every day with our communities. Today there was four different scenarios. Um, they had a live fire engine operations where they uh, pump hose up a stairwell, go into the burn room and actually extinguish the fire, uh, simulating exactly what our engine crews do every day. Then we're going to pick up that nozzle make an interior attack on the ground level. You're gonna climb a stairwell as you'll feel a little bit of heat, you get a little bit more exposure to the fire room, round a corner to the actual fire. It was dark, it was like being in a coffin, it was hard to see, it was hot, <laughs> and it was, it was scary. It's a pretty overwhelming sensory experience, but very interesting, I'm so glad we had this experience. We also have them climb uh, our aerial device, one of the one of the biggest gut checks of the day, actually. Uh, I think this and the live fire are, are probably the two hardest for most participants. Woo! Awesome. Uh, they got to feel how heavy those tools are. We give them the real deal, the, the jaws of life, as they like to call them. Um, all of that heavy equipment we use to cut vehicles and, and rescue people from, well, they got to feel the weight of those. And especially in this heat, they got to understand what it's like, even when there's no fire involved, what it's like to put on all the gear and just work and, and sweat it out and, and feel what our challenges are. Damn, that's hard. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's amazing. That thing probably weighs 100 pounds. In a EMS scenario where we're working a cardiac arrest patient, they got to experience what it, what kind of teamwork is required to to save a life. Uh, it's just so much more than knowing how to do chest compressions. There's there's so much of a team aspect involved there to have great outcomes for our patients. Oh my gosh, I could not imagine people doing compressions on an ambulance going so fast and crazy. It was it was nuts. I don't know how you guys do it. You can't do it without having the proper personnel to do what they what these guys and girls do. Um, it's super important that we, we put every effort into making sure that our public safety overall is well staffed, well equipped, so they can do their job. You get the sense of why, you know, the fire department is such a brotherhood and sisterhood. It's just, it would be necessary to really rely on your, your colleagues. It was a well, great yeah, experience. Awesome we had experience. some great instructors and uh, have a whole new understanding they were, for what, uh, it, what it takes to be a firefighter. It's a very demanding job. And uh, anybody that's willing to do it, I believe you should give them as many resources to be successful at doing it. That's awesome. Thank you so no, much. No problem. Thank you for coming right. and doing it.